that you throw your weight in this house and we vow to give you the glory Hallelujah. in jesus mighty name we have to worship amen and everybody say amen while we're still standing we're going to go to the scripture we're reading one verse of the scripture i'm introducing a series today we're going to touch a little bit of it and then we'll be continuing from next sunday hallelujah amen praise the lord second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 one verse only we have it on the screen. Can we read together in one, one translation? One to go. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we read it one more time? Media, put it up. But we all, I want you to sing. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image. From glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm lifted by the Spirit of God. So I'm sharing briefly with us today just an introduction. Lifted by the Spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lifted by the Spirit of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please sit down. Let me bring you God's word. Let's introduce the, the, the message. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He said, we behold glory and are changed from glory to glory. Hallelujah. By what? By the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want us to understand in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 40. The Bible said, there are terrestrial bodies and there are celestial bodies. He said, there is one glory of the terrestrial and there is another glory of the celestial. Hallelujah. In verse 41, it says, there is one glory of the moon. There is another glory of the sun. There is another glory of the star. He said, there is one glory of the sun. There's another glory of the moon. And there is another glory of the star. He said, one star differs from the other in what? Glory. So the difference between every one of us is glory. Hallelujah. The difference between every one of us here is glory. So, there is a glory peculiar to you. Hallelujah. There is a glory peculiar to you. You were born with a particular kind of glory. No one came to this life empty. You came with something. Hallelujah. All you need is to discover what you came with and to magnify it. Because he said, as we behold glory, we move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. There are some of us, you have not discovered what you came into this life with. But by the end of this series, I see God unveiling your glory. I say, God shall unveil your glory. I say, God will unveil your glory. In the name of Jesus. In Psalms 8, read verse 4. From verse 4, he said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man, what is a man, what is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him. And verse 5, O Shalagabadasha. He said, You have made him a little lower than angels. And you have crowned him with what? Glory and honor. Everyone has a glory. You came with something in this life. And I came to amplify that thing. That glory that God put upon your life. It shall manifest by fire. I said, That glory that God put upon your destiny. It shall manifest by fire. I say it shall manifest by fire. I say it shall manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, I say we are introducing our topic. What is glory? Number one, glory is the central bank of heaven. Glory is the central bank of heaven. Philippians 4 and verse 19. He said, but my God shall supply all your needs. According to what? His riches in glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any country with currencies is backed by the central bank. Am I speaking here? If banks are boasting, it's based on the deposit they have in the central bank. In African countries, they say, if you, some countries, they say 25 million of their currency before you can be a registered bank. Is that so? 25 billion? To be a registered bank in that nation. So you have deposited with the central bank. Our own got deposited for you. And the deposit is where in glory. So glory is a central bank of heaven. That is why I know I cannot be poor in life. I might not have it today, but I shall not be poor in life. Because there is glory for me. There is glory. The day glory empties, the glory of God empties, that's the day I can be broke. 
Am I speaking to somebody here? So what is glory? The central bank of heaven. Hallelujah. The second definition, what is glory? The saturated presence with the intention for outstanding unexplainable results. Hallelujah. The saturated, the saturated presence of God with the intention for outstanding and unexplainable results. Hallelujah. First Kings chapter 8 and verse 11. The Bible said the priest could not minister. He said the, the house was filled. The temple was filled with cloud because the glory of God came more than ever before. He said so that the priest could not start to minister because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of the Lord. His glory is here today. It shall bring testimonies in your life. The glory of God is a producer of testimony. The glory of God is where we draw virtues from. The glory of God is what we depend on. This morning you shall receive your breakthrough by glory. As you shall receive your breakthrough by glory. As you shall receive your breakthrough by glory. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Yakada Badasha. The saturated presence of God is called glory. Number, number three. What is glory? The beauty of God. Hallelujah. Somebody said the beauty of God. Glory is what? The beauty of God. The wonders of God and the testimonies of God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do it things past finding out. Yay! Wonders without number. That is the glory of God. Hallelujah. In John 11 verse 4, the Bible said, Lazarus was sick. Lazarus was sick. And I love what happened. He said in verse 40, he said, did I not tell you that if you believe, you shall see the glory? I decree today, as you believe, you shall see the glory. I say, you will see the glory. I say, you will see the glory. I say, it shall manifest in your life. It shall manifest in your family. In the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 20. He said, for all the promises of God are in him. Yea. And in him. Amen. Hallelujah. His glory is ever sure. Praise the Lord. The fourth definition. Hallelujah. What is glory? It is the highest level of lifting. That is why our topic is what? Lifted by, by the spirit. Hallelujah. Lifted by the spirit. Moving from glory to glory, it means God. It is said by the Spirit of God. So God moving you from one place in life to another. Hallelujah. To the highest realm where there is nothing bigger. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we said our fourth definition is what? The highest level of lifting. In Genesis 37, we read about a man called Joseph. Joseph, he had so much envy. Why? He didn't know it was the glory he carried. Everywhere he entered, he saw problem. He didn't know it was because of the glory he carried. As I'm speaking now, there are some of you, in your family, there is problem. At your place of work, they're asking, why is it just you? Why is it only you? In the church, people are asking, why is it just him? Why is it not her? Why is it that you are? Because of the glory that is upon your life. Uh, you don't need to cry about it. There is a glory. And it will go brighter than this. I said there shall be an exposure of that glory. Your glory will rise from glory to glory. God is lifting you in this service. You shall get to a realm where more people will ask questions. I say, God is lifting you higher than where you are. In the name of Jesus. Listen, there is a level of lifting. There are three levels of lifting you can attain by yourself, by human effort. Hallelujah. People can make up their mind to shift from bad to good. It's attainable by man. You can decide, no, I've, been, I've done a lot of hurt to my family. I've done a lot of hurt to people. I want to be nice to people. That is a shifting of level. You can move from bad to good. Hallelujah. Am I speaking to somebody here? It's within your power to control that. Moving from bad to good. You can also move from good to better. Okay, last year you made up your mind You're in your resolution. I don't want to do anything like this to hurt people anymore. Your love last year didn't hurt nobody. But you can get to a better place. You were hurting before. Now you are not hurting. Can you be a blessing to people now? That is making your life better. Hallelujah. So you move from bad to good. And you move from good to better. Am I speaking to somebody here? There is a third level which is the highest human effort can take you to. And it is called best. That is why we say you can only do your best. You can only do your best. You can move from better to best. You can say, okay, what can I do? From the one that causes pain in the heart of people. You now become the one that gives water to people. You now become the one that gives direction to people. I have seen criminals change and 
they became their anti gang in the community. They become the security head of their community because they knew they were expert thieves before. And now they have become expert security men. Am I speaking here? He just moved himself three levels of greatness. And that is the most he can do. That is his best he can do. But there is a realm that the Holy Ghost can carry you. That man cannot take you. There is a realm where you don't depend on family. That when God steps into it, he carries you by himself. When you get to your best, there is a place called grace. When you get to grace, things begin to work in for your good. Things begin to turn around for your good. When you get to grace, life begins to work out itself. You go to bed not thinking of tomorrow. Before you wake up, you see a lot in your bank account. There is a level of grace. I came to move somebody. I carry you from your best. I take you to grace. In the name of Jesus. There are two more realms the Spirit of God can do for you. Oh, la, 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 bata. God, oh, shade, de, le, bata. Somebody is moving. Say, I am moving. Say, I am moving. Say, I am moving. Say, I move. In 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 2. 2 Peter 1, 2. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. The same. 1 Peter 1, 2. 2 Peter 1, 2. Can we read? He said, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah. A level where you get to things begin to sort out themselves. A level where you get to things begin to work for themselves. Am I speaking to somebody here? Second Peter 1, 2. 1 Peter 1, 2. Hallelujah. That is a level of great. A level where you do little things, it amplifies. A level where you do things, it begins to work. That is a level of grace. There is another realm that God moves people to. There is another realm that God takes people to. He takes you from grace to glory. God moves people from grace to glory. When you have been lifted, you get to a level where there is no number one, there is no number zero, you are there. Am I speaking to somebody here? When they talk about anything in your family, you come out first. They said, who is the one that loves God? You are the one first. They said, who is the one that takes care of the rest? You are the one first. Listen, it is, it is charismatic affliction for you to know God and depend on people. Can I say it again? It is charismatic affliction to know God and depend on people. It is charismatic affliction to know God and rely on people. God is too good. It is not storytelling. From Genesis to Revelation, God remains God. Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, is the same today, is the same forever. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed. He's still doing the same thing today. What happens to you? Genesis 13 to Abraham was very rich. What is going on with you? God can carry you from where you are to the better place you can be in life. God can move you. He can, he can, he can, Shana Mahanta. There is somebody God is lifting in this service. I see God lifting you from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. After he carries you from grace to glory, he looks at you. You are loving him. You are serving him. You are in his presence. You are sacrificial for him. And he said, this is my son. What else can I do? He said, let me show the multifacetedness of my, of my being. God shows himself in your finances. He shows himself in your business. He shows himself in your health. He shows himself in your family. While you are here, God is keeping your people. That is a level of glory to glory. Where every day you are a sign and a wonder to many. There is a level you get to. You become a sign and a wonder to many. When they hear that fire rage in a certain area, it look like your address. And it look like the area where you live. And they are surprising you and your family coming down from plane. Oh, we went on vacation. God carried you before the fire came. You don't get it. You don't get it. You don't get it. When they say everyone in this company is fired except... When they said everyone had COVID except. When they said in this family nobody can marry except. There is somebody here. If it is one person I came for. Then I fulfill the mandate of God. I see God lifting you from glory to glory. 
I say you shall be a product of testimony. After now you shall be lifted by the Spirit of God. I decree over your life. I move you to glory. 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 In the name of Jesus. This is a realm. Glory is a realm where the more people set trap, people will set trap. The trap become your springboard. You don't understand. Where they say when you get there, you will fall. That is where you go to and you bounce and you took you higher than they thought. Where they posted your picture on social media to bring you down. It became an advertisement. People said, let me check the content of this person. They discovered that you only have 20 followers. Your followers raised to 1,000 because of a negative news. That is a level of glory. When God wants to announce a man, he will use your enemies to announce you. That is a level of glory. That is why when God is working on your case, don't be afraid of negativity. Let them come that we bounce back. He said, oh, shalabaha. I don't know that person I'm talking to. I see God lifting you up. I see God lifting you up. I see God raising you up. I see God lifting you up. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaku Somebody is rising from glory to glory. No matter where you are in life, there is somewhere better than where you are. So it is not for one particular brother. It's not one for one particular sister. I am believing God. When I was preparing the message, I prayed that, Lord, let me be the first partaker. Let me be the first partaker. Somebody will be lifted. I said, somebody will be catapulted. To the level you never dreamt you will get to this year. This year will not end without your lifting. I said, this year will not end without your lifting. If you believe it, shall fire. Shall fire, fire, fire. To move from glory to glory. First, we're going to do something. Number one, you need a restoration of glory. There are many people, their glory has been tempered with you. There are many people, oh, Shanamaha. There are so many people, their glory is sleeping. We are going to awake that glory. Psalm 57 verse 8. David said, I wake up my glory. I wake. The glory was asleep. The glory was where? I wake up my glory. If you say I wake, so what is happening? It was sleeping. Your glory shall be activated. I say your glory shall be activated. You will not hide behind the cloud. You will be the light that others will see and follow. I say you will not hide behind the cloud. You will be the light that others will see and follow. The Bible says one star different from the other in glory. Let your glory so shine. Ashana Makai, he said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. I say, your light will shine. Your light will shine. Your glory will be awakened. Your glory will be awakened. I decree over every sleeping glory, awake in the name of Jesus. Tap your head, say, my glory awake. Say, my glory awake. Say, you are better than this. Say you are better than this. I love what uh, the artist said in the program. The, the singer that came with Papa. Testimony Jagger. He said, he said, they said they are brainwashers. He said, I said, I'm happy when they brainwash me. He said, because my brain had a lot of smoke inside. There are so many people, your brain need washing. You need washing. I decree, may the hand of God wash your brain. Let your brain begin to function the way it's supposed to function. In the name of Jesus. Every sleeping glory, you will awake today. How do you know your glory is sleeping? When you are always late in everything. Late to come to church. Late at work. When you, when you are coming to the party, that's when the soup finished. Only Gary remaining. When you are coming to an event, every good thing has been shared. And you don't have, maybe they have uh, particles. You know, some people, they will mix a lot. They mix a little bit of a raw soup. They add some more goosey pudding. They add cake inside. They add chicken feet inside. <laughs> because you came when everything was gone. So you're only small, small, small of everything. You discover that you can sing, but you can't sing two songs. After two songs, your voice cannot come out. You discover that you can pray. You can't pray more than 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, your voice cannot come out. It's a little, little crumbs, crumbs, crumbs. That is when a man's glory is asleep. I came to wake up your glory. Anywhere they covered you, when you are sleeping comfortably, I decree your glory awake. Somebody said, my glory, awake by fire, awake by fire, awake by fire, awake by fire, 
in the name of Jesus. You need restoration. Cry for restoration. Another class is people, people whose glory has left them. By reason of our stand with God, glory departed. First Samuel chapter 4, in verse 21. A woman named the son Ichabod. We read verse 21, 22. And she named the child Ichabod, saying, The glory is departed from Israel. He said, The glory is departed from Israel. She named her son Ichabod. Continue verse 22. He said, and she said, The glory is departed from Israel. She was repeating, he said, That's, and she passed away and named the child Ichabod. No glory. Departed glory. Anyone here that the enemy manipulated to remove your glory. You know, it was the glory of Jesus they saw. The wise men saw and they, were, they, they tried everything. They can't decode who this child is. And they said, let's carry gift there. Be careful, not every gift is good. There are some gifts that, that they came to exchange something with. When an enemy suddenly becomes a friend, you must be careful. You must be careful. There are people, they exchange your glory on a plate of food. While you were eating, transactions were being done. They gave you a glass of wine. They collected glory. They gave you one cloth. They gave you in a way, collected glory. They gave you a week and they collected your glory. No wonder, even the ones who don't know God are settling and you are still where you are. The ones who don't know God, they are getting married and you look beautiful and yet nothing is happening. Somebody has changed your glory. I came for a restoration. I decree it shall be restored. I say your glory 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 shall be restored. Somebody say, Lord, restore my glory. Say, Lord, restore my glory. The first thing we do is restore. Ask God for restoration because we said everyone was born with the glory. If stars have glory, moon have glory, how much human being? God did not create stars in his likeness. He just said it and they appeared. He took our time to create man. And then you are the one the enemy is targeting your glory. You are the one the enemy said your star will not shine. Moon, that moon is shining in the air. Giving light to the devil and to the good, good people. You that is supposed to be the light of God. The enemy has taken ten part with your glory. There shall be a restoration. I say God will restore you. I say God will restore you. I say God will restore your glory. In the name of Jesus. Second thing we have to do. I'm running with time. Hallelujah. The second thing we are going to do. Number two. Come to God with an open face. Hallelujah. The first cry for restoration. Second come to him with an open face. Can we go back to our scripture, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18. Thank you, my father. He said, but we are with what? I will read it again. But we are with what? Can you change translation? Let's read it again. We are with what? Another translation if you have. But we are with what? Open. Open face. Unveiled face. Hallelujah. They all mean the same. I'm trying to see if there is any way something will change. Nothing is changing. We are with what? Unveiled face. Hallelujah. For you to be lifted by the spirit of God, you must come with an open face. Some people come to church mask. There is a face they want people in the church to see. There is an appearance they want the pastor to see. There is an appearance they want people to see. But that is not who they are. You can deceive me. You can deceive everybody. We can't deceive God. Hallelujah. You may not be perfect but sincere with God. Don't come and stand and you are doing your thing. We all must be sincere with God. When I prostrate in my quiet time with God, I am not Pastor Abraham. I am A.B. Remove, don't, you don't even need to spell the whole name. Even call me A, that's okay. <laughs> even call me A, you, no problem. I am before my God. I am naked before him. Because everything is bare before him. You cannot help me. God is the one to help me. So when we come to him, come with an open face. Our very face be true to your God. When you come to him, don't leave your title, sir. Leave your title, man. I know you are a doctor in your place of work. 
But with God, doctor title. He's a doctor of doctors. Doctors still have problems. Doctors are still sick. Hallelujah. So when you come to the one that created you, that can change the course of life, appear as who you are. Praise the Lord. Anybody having problem and hiding it to the doctor is killing themselves. You go to the hospital, they ask you, is this happening? You say, no. Is this happening? No. Then they tell you, you are not sick, go home. And your problem is getting compounded. When you come to God, open face. Am I speaking to somebody here? Let's come to him and be real. Hallelujah. When you come to him, prostrate in his presence. And begin to cry for his mercy. Hallelujah. In Judges 6, 15 and 16, Gideon said, he said, who am I? When the angel said, thou mighty man. And Gideon said, my? My? Not mighty. Is it? <laughs> where is the man? Douglas of tea. Hallelujah. And he said unto him, oh, my Lord, where which shall I save Israel? When he was told that you will be the one to deliver Israel, save Israel as one man. He began to, he, I know we see it as a weakness, but he wasn't talking to man. He was talking to God. That is how we must appear. Every man that comes to God, honestly, he doesn't go back the same. If you read further down, Gideon, if they, his name was changed to Jerobal. Say so one that destroyed Baal as a god. One man, he became the judge of Israel. He brought down the enemies. Why? He came to him naked. On very face. We cannot be hiding. We come and we are pretending to be who we are not. To God. Hallelujah. When you come to God, prostrate before him. I don't say come and tell me who you are. I don't need that. God knows you. And is the one giving help. When you come to him, pour out yourself. Don't confess to me. Don't come and distract me with your confession. I drank three bottles of whiskey yesterday. So why are you telling me? So me too, I should go and drink. Keep it to yourself. Talk to God. Don't distract me. I don't need your confession. Confess to God. Hallelujah. When we come before him, naked and say, Father, help me. This is the kind of person I have been. And I know it doesn't please you. As you are doing that, God begins to change things for you. You are not coming out the same, pl- the same person. As you begin to walk with him, you will see that God will give you overtaking. There are people who have been ahead of you. But when you come to him, he says, he carries you from where you are and puts you ahead of others. Am I speaking to somebody here? So when we come to him, come with an open face. As you come to God with an open face, God himself will lift you higher. In the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 37 from verse 1. The Bible said this, the hand of God came upon him. And God lifted him. Verse 3, God took him to a valley. He saw bones. He said, can these bones live again? He said, ah, God, only thou knowest. You know, some of us, we know more than God. Know more than everybody. Hallelujah. He said, only thou. He was a prophet. And he said, God, you know. Hallelujah. When we come to him, open face. Somebody say, open face. In 1 Kings chapter 3 and verse 7. You read from verse 7 to 9. Hallelujah. 1 Kings chapter He said, and now, O Lord, hear Solomon's prayer. Now, O Lord, my God, thou hast made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. Are you seeing? I know not how to go out, how to come in. Praise the Lord. It depend- when you, when, you, when you, you come to him, with an, you depend on him. Hallelujah. You tell him, I am powerless, but you are all powerful. I may not know, but you are all knowing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That was his prayer. He said, I can, he said, and thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou hast chosen a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. Hallelujah. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart. I want to correct something so that when we live here, we go with the correction. Solomon did not ask for wisdom. He asked for an understanding heart. That's it in the scripture. Solomon did not ask for wisdom. He asked for what? It is through an understanding heart that we demonstrate wisdom. If the reason, when people are in class, right, in school, you see somebody came first, somebody came last. You know the reason why? Some people, their heart, some, if not of distraction, some, their understanding level is zero. So that is why the same teaching can come to everybody. Somebody else comes out first, somebody comes last. What we need in life is what? Understanding heart. Hallelujah. When we come to God, one thing we must is understanding heart. He said, I am but a child. I don't know anything. Give me an understanding heart. Hallelujah. Understanding heart is a key to everyone that will make it in life. No wonder Solomon was and is still the greatest king ever. No king has beat his record. 
was an infant. Why? He asked God for virtue. And God said, because you didn't ask for the head of your enemy. This thing, you asked for this thing. He said, I will give you even more. Hallelujah. He said, I will give you even more. Hallelujah. In 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 29, the Bible said, the Bible said and God gave Solomon wisdom and what he asked for. Hallelujah. He said, and can we read together? And God gave Solomon what? Wisdom. And understanding exceeding much. Hallelujah. And largeness of heart, even as the sun that is on the seashore. Wow. So you see what can make a difference between you and others? Understanding heart. There are some people, they are so difficult to deal with. They lack understanding heart. There are people, they are so judgmental. They lack understanding heart. The people that tell you, oh, don't, you hurt somebody in less than five minutes. You say, I'm sorry. You say, that's okay. Don't think they are stupid. Those are the people God called the people with understanding heart. Hallelujah. God gave him wisdom, understanding exceeding much. Praise the Lord. I pray that you will not leave here empty. Amen. I say you will not leave here empty. Amen. As you come to him as you are, he will not give you just what you ask. He will give you abundantly. In the name of Jesus. Proverbs 17, 27. The Bible says, He that had knowledge, spared his word. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Hallelujah. He that had knowledge, does what? Spared his word. So, why people with knowledge don't talk anyhow? Is that a man of understanding? Is of what? An excellent spirit. Hallelujah. A man of understanding is what? Of an excellent spirit. Hallelujah. When an excellent spirit is upon a person, you are preferred over every other person. The person is not excellent. There is a spirit in him that pushes him to do perfect things. There is a spirit that when God has released upon a man, it makes him to ride upon, upon the wing. It makes him begin to do things that moves God. Hallelujah. Was well, David perfect? But he had an excellent spirit in him. Hallelujah. He had an excellent spirit. In Daniel chapter 6 and verse 3, the Bible said, this Daniel, in whom was an excellent spirit. He said, he was preferred over all the presidents. Daniel 6, 3. He was the preference. He said, then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. Hallelujah. He said, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Hallelujah. Lifting by the spirit of God. There are virtues that we get when we understand God's word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And understanding how he asks for. Come to God with all, all openness. Don't bury things behind you. Come to him. Don't come to me. Come to God. There are many people that just came to church because they want, we should see that they are in church. Some people just came, hey, 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 mama should not say that I'm not in church today. <laughs> What's your expectation for this service? What are you believing God for? Is there a weakness somewhere you are believing God to kill from your life? Is there a particular thing you are hoping for God to change? I know many times our prayer point, if you just tell somebody, let's pray for one person, write your prayer point, two hours is not enough. You will write, 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 even the, the house you want to build in their village. But about our work with God, we never remember. Come to him with an open face. Let him identify you for who you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let God identify you for who you are. When we come to God with an open face, God begins to catapult us to new heights. God begins to take us to new levels. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll take the last one and then we will pray. We'll continue next Sunday. Behold glory continually. Hallelujah. In order to be lifted by the Spirit, you must behold glory continually. Can we get our memory verse on the screen? Second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, with all with open faces, we all with open face do what? Beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into it. As you keep looking at glory, you are changed to glory. Amen. Hallelujah. As you keep looking at glory, you are changed into glory. There are people who come to church like spies. Let me go and try and see what is happening there. When you come, treasure God's word. Treasure the move of God. 
treasure his presence. When you behold glory continually from the scripture, from the word of God's servant, from the manifestation in the service, as you are beholding testimony, testimonies get replicated in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Behold glory. The knowledge of God and his work. Hallelujah. Behold glory continually. Praise the Lord. In Acts chapter 3 and verse 4, the Bible said, the apostle said to the man, he said, look on us. Focus on the glory. Hallelujah. Focus on the glory. Praise the Lord. They, they said, look on us. Praise the Lord. In Joshua chapter 2, we read from verse 8 to 10. The Bible speaks of a woman called Rhea. The Bible introduced her as she was a harlot. Hallelujah. She hid the servant of God. Continue with the next verse, verse 9 and 10. He said, and she said unto them, unto the men, I know that the Lord had given you the land, and that your terror is falling upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. A harlot knows the scripture. People in the church don't know it. He said, but we have heard how the Lord dried up the water, for the, the water of the Red Sea for you. He said, when he came out from Egypt, you see statistics. A harlot was quoting scripture, giving testimony. But there are people in the house of God who don't know anything. That is why we are tossed by every wind of doctrine. That's why anything that happens moved us. A harlot saw this and he worked for her. I saw God kept you people, carried you through the Red Sea. Why will God not protect her? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you watching? What are you seeing? They say one man swallows snake. They say snake swallow one child. That's what you look on Facebook. No wonder you see it in your dream. What are you beholding? Can we remember one scripture Papa gave in, in, in Washington, D.C.? Can we remember one of the testimonies he shared in Washington, D.C.? Behold glory continually and your life will move from glory to glory. Hallelujah. We must behold glory. Look unto it continually. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now in Joshua chapter 6, you read 13 and 14. This same woman who saw preservation, she enjoyed preservation. Hallelujah. You cannot see it and not enjoy it. You cannot see it and not be part of it. Moses in Exodus chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. Moses behold fire. The Bible says he saw the bush burning and said, now I will turn. And when he turned, God spoke to him. And from that day, he became fire, untouchable. Last time we were, we were sharing the scripture, I told us, I said, a man threatening Egypt came to the king of Egypt, told him, said, by tomorrow, all oh, your firstborn will die. He went back to his house and slept. In the same Egypt, and nobody, nobody came after him. That man was fire. He was not a human being walking. Because he encountered fire. After that, God will change your status. I said, God will change your status. I said, God will change your image. You shall become glory. I said, you shall become glory. In the name of Jesus. I tell you, whatever you can see in the word of God, you can replicate it in your life. Whatever you see in the word of God, you can replicate it in your life. Hallelujah. What you see is what you see. Hallelujah. What you see is what you see. And your picture is your capture. And your capture is your future. What you see is what you see. Your picture is your capture. And your capture is your future. What are you looking at? Behold glory. Can you go to the Bible and begin to make a collection of testimonies? The things that happen in the days of Jesus. The things that happen, the testimonies, the people that he touched and changed their lives. Hallelujah. This is what I want to end today. We must behold glory continually. What is taking your time? Can we be on our feet? What is taking your time? What is taking your time? What's making you to be seen what you're not supposed to see? We are going to crown to God. The first thing we said is restoration. We need restoration of our glory. In any way, my glory has been tempered with. Lord, restore. Lord, restore. 
Are you ready to take that prayer? You are going to jump up on your feet. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my fighter. My father, my fighter. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has tempered with my glory. Whatever has tempered with my glory. As I clap my hands and pray. As I clap my hands and pray. Restore my fire. Restore my fire. Restore my fire. Restore my fire. Restore my glory. Restore my fire. Clap your hands and pray. Amen. Say, Father, Father, wherever my glory was buried, wherever my glory was buried, I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Let there be restoration. Let there be restoration. Say, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father. Lord, as I begin to pray, Lord, as I begin to pray, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wherever my glory was buried, wherever my glory was buried, Spirit of God, Spirit of God, dig it out, dig it out, restore to me, restore to me, now by fire, now by fire, clap your hands and pray, shout once in the dark. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for restoration of glory. Thank you, Lord. God has a lot to do for us in this series. Amen. This is just the introduction. I decree that whatever was there, in any way they tempered with your glory, let there be a restoration. Amen. Let there be a restoration. Amen. Let there be a restoration. Amen. 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 Amen. You are the next emerging star. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. You are worthy of our praise. Yes, Amen. Lord. In Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. While we're still standing, we're about to close quickly. Is there anyone with name? I know my son is my son's name is wealth. I was praying and the Lord said there's somebody, there's a name that translates to like money or wealth in your dialect. I don't know if it's dialect or whatever. Who has such a person in the family? Eh? It's wealth. Bring that. I already collected for my son. So bring. Okay, come. That, she's the one that, that she's actually, I'll pray for everybody who has the same. Bring her. I was praying in the course of the week. I, when was that? Was that Friday? I, t- I shared that with Mama. I said, the Lord showed me. I just saw a vision. I was walking back and forth and praying here. I saw myself on the altar praying and the Lord said, there's somebody, the name is wealth. He said, put wealth in their hand. He said, I should, so I first of all collected for my son. Hallelujah. Amen. Whose Amen. name is wealth? His own doesn't need translation. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I've already collected the word. Come. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Money is coming to this church. Amen. We are raising millionaires in this Amen. church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This one is with the husband. The other husband is remaining behind. Hallelujah. What's that? What's your name? Put bring my bring my bring my. Another minister should help now. This one is out already to collect well. Give it to somebody else. Hallelujah. Say your name. Ego. That's what my daddy calls me. Ego. Ah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This God is too much. Oh. Amen. This God is too much. That word, you will see it. Amen. You will carry it. Amen. You will chop it. Amen. And you will bring my own. Amen. Amen. Huh? Is that the wrong prayer? It's the best prayer now. I finished prayer for you, then I say you will bring my own. Amen. I decree the God of heaven, the one that revealed this, 
it will bring it to pass in your life. Amen. It shall manifest Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree that which God ordained for before now, we decree it shall manifest speedily. It shall come to pass Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I get oil? Let me put that money in your Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Collect your money. Stay there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. Ah, Le Kodaba. Let me start with the small boy. As God has said it, let it be so in your Amen. life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Are you standing for him or with him? You want them to? Ah. Money is coming. No? Money is coming. Amen. Word is coming. People should not go to move from here when after this money comes. I go pray, pray. We you not go like. <laughs> eh? <laughs> so you should not, Father, release that wealth. Amen. What you have not seen before now, receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree your glory shall shine. Amen. I decree in the name of Jesus. I agree with you as you agree with your wife. Carry your wealth in Amen. the name of Jesus. I decree upon these hands, you will carry wealth. Amen. You will touch it in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Receive your wealth in the name Amen. of Jesus. Receive your wealth in the name Amen. of Jesus. Marco Shalabataya. I decree favor. Amen. I decree receive wealth. Amen. Receive wealth. Receive Amen. wealth. Receive wealth Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree you are a testimony. Amen. You become a solution, not a problem. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree the favor of God. Let the Amen. oil of God come upon your life heavily. In Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. While we're worshiping, I, I saw someone. There's an arrow fired on somebody's one part of the body. You're feeling pain from your hand, your one side. I don't know if it happened before and it's, a, it's trying to come back again or there's something happening one side of the body. Yeah? From your hand. Going down. Is it affecting? Going down? It's just your hand. Come, just come, come, come. There's somebody here. Because what the Holy Spirit interpreted was that they fired, that was paralysis they are firing. And somebody had that kind of affliction on one side of your body before. That you had something like that? Alright, we're going to pray. It's going back to sender. Amen. The God of heaven, the God that revealed, he revealed to redeem. I decree upon your life testimonies. Amen. I decree testimony. Amen. Let the arrow go back to send her out Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Out 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 in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree you are made whole. Amen. I set you ablaze for God. Amen. In Kubarakati Vadash. In Prakatoka Letapele. In Takota Manakota Latia. In Prakateze Vakota Baya. In Tatakota Keta Balatia. In Kaleta. Rade Kakoka. I send it back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are made who? Give me the hand. Somebody shake you. I shake you. We return Amen. it. I shake you. We return it. Amen. I shake you. We return it. Amen. I shake you. We return it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Stretch that arm. Stretch it. Lift it up. Stretch it up. Father, make a hole. Let the arrow go back to sender. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Father, we thank you. No, no, I'm done with you. It's done. It's done. Hallelujah. That is, uh, they thought you will not see your grandchildren. You will see Amen. grandchildren. Amen. They thought you will not see grandchildren. You are seeing grandchildren now. You will see great grand. Amen. God will keep you. Amen. God will keep you. Amen. Arrows that will fire will return it back to Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anybody with there are somebody with name. I hear something like Mezier. Is there Amaze? I don't know what the beginning is. I hear something like that. Is there someone's name? Eh? No, it's a traditional name. Something like Mezier is, is there in the name. Eh? No, 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 it's not your own. Father, I speak life. I speak life. I agree with you. I decree those that are fighting you, they will retire, you are still standing. They will retire, you are still standing. They will retire, you are still standing. You will eat from the seed you are planted. You will not sow for another to eat. You will eat. You will eat. You will eat. You will eat. In the name of Jesus. Father, testimonies on every side. Amen. Testimonies on every side. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Somewhat like Chimese. God will preserve. Amen. God will protect. Amen. No one will die. Amen. I said no one will die. Amen. That's right. Father, we thank you. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you, King of Glory. Malaradasha. Break it, take it. Bati kati kati badash, brakata dadavash, imbradus kelebete ya, makatu belete kete. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I decree that your glory is coming back. There is a restoration over your life. 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 Amen. There is a restoration over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. Father, we open doors. I'm just hearing God say this. There are people, I saw a couple of people, that people are saying, no matter where you go to, you cannot see good. I, I'm here to cancel it. I am here to cancel it. I am here to cancel it. I am here to cancel it. If you are among them, come and shake my hand quickly. Carry your blessing. Anyone that has said you will not see good, go back and become good in the name of Jesus. Be a distributor of good. 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 They say you will not see good. Be a distributor of 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 good. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You shall be a distributor of good in the name of Jesus. You shall be a distributor of good in the name of Jesus. You shall be a distributor of good in the name of Jesus. You shall be a distributor of good in the name of Jesus. You shall be a distributor of good in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Is any Christabel in this church? Or connected to Christabel? Is there any Christabel? Eh? Christabel? Eh? Come, come, come. Where is she? She's is she married? Tell her congratulations. Amen. Tell her congratulations. Tell her congratulations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. It is well. Tell her I said congratulations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I hide everyone here under the cross of Calvary. I speak favor in your life. Amen. I speak open heaven. Amen. Let your glory attract the right people to your life. Amen. Let your glory be so loud that nobody can ignore Amen. you. Let your glory be so pronounced that nations will come for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree we will not bury anyone here before their time. Amen. The hand of God rests upon you. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine on Amen. you. The Lord give you peace and prosperity. Amen. To you and your loved ones. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You will not miss any good thing in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, For in Jesus' precious mighty name we pray. Amen. And everybody say amen. Amen. Please come. Let me, let me, let me pray with you. You are the only first time we have today. Come, come forward. Father, we thank you. Oh, please come. Oh, she didn't. She wasn't there. Lord, I thank you for the life of your son. Hold my hand. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who is in Bamenda? Who is close to you? Who is in? Who is in? Yes. Are you from Bamenda? Okay, hold on. Father, we thank you. Kele Vadosh. I decree that the God of heaven make his light shine over you. Amen. The God of heaven open your doors, give you favor. Amen. Allah Rabba Kasha. I decree greatness. Amen. I decree greatness. Look Amen. At me. I hear greatness. Look at me. Sir. I hear greatness. Amen. You shall be great. 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 Amen. What is your name? Huh? What is the name? 
God's goodness. God will show you his goodness. Amen. In Jesus. Name. Amen. The Lord honor you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said, I should tell you, there shall not be a funeral in your family. Amen. In Bamenda, in the Amen. name of Jesus. The funeral will not say the barrier will not hold. The barrier will not hold. Say, let it swallow the enemy. Let it swallow the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. This way with you. Amen. Thank you, faithful Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's be on our feet as we close. Put your right hand on your head. Say, My head is a good head. My head is a good my head. My life is a good one. My life is a good Angels one. shall fight for me. Angels shall fight Greatness for me. on my side. Greatness Goodness shall side. follow me. Goodness no shall follow me. No matter what the matter is, I will matter when it matters. I will matter when it matters.